All right, so today, you know, I, which is going to be today's video, hopefully, if I can get this up, is I just want to talk about a movie that means a lot to me, and that is uh, Carnival of Souls. The movie is very spiritual in some cases. Uh, what is this person going through? Obviously, it is done by a director that is known for doing shorts, for doing educational films, like your uh, typical, uh, you know, shop ed films you would see in high school. You know, they'd roll the film out or they'd roll the projector out during class and they'd say, all of the boys are going to this room and watch this and all the girls are going to go to this room and uh, watch this. So um, that is what is basically going on. You know, that's what type of direction this film has. But it is, to me, an ultimate of a cult classic. And I'll say it's ultimate of a cult, cl cult classic. Uh, Rift Tracks has done it a couple of times. I think uh, Cinema Titanic has done it. A lot of your Mystery Science Theater people have done it. And even though they may make fun of some of the stuff in the film, I think there's a little respect for this low-budget independent film that was filmed in Kansas from this uh, director who made these independent educational films. And he makes this film. And it is probably one of the first uh, quote-unquote zombie-type films we got people dressed in makeup representing the dead, obviously. It is one of the first of that. Very creepy visuals. Very creepy film. And people who talk about the actress herself is in it as having no emotions because her character is supposed to be portrayed that way and uh, that she's a cold person and she makes herself out to be a cold person and it might have been the reason why she got the role that uh, harvey said hey that person seems pretty cold we need to make her to be the uh, lead in this because we need a cold-hearted person and uh, it's just a great film and i wanted to talk about it because it is in public domain the black and white version is we probably will end up maybe showing it here i do have a commentary of it with the, the colorized film which is not in public domain uh what i'm trying to say is we did the actual long term movies or long form movie for you guys because you guys are requesting just show the movies just don't talk about the movies so that's something that i'm working on trying to do and among other things you know but if you guys don't talk to me in the comments if you don't say anything i can't produce something for you you're going to have to let me know what you want and so uh, i'm i'm hoping to get this video out and then we're going to do another movie film hopefully we're going to have several uh things cut together hopefully public domain movie out that you guys can watch and riff on and talk about in the comment section and we're going to have some of our older uh videos in there mixed in with there hopefully maybe a music video as well uh, if you like ava the internet girlfriend let me know let me know in the comments what you guys think now as far as what i think about this movie and what i think about uh, Carnival of Souls, I, I think it is, uh, it's about death, and I think it's about accepting death, and, uh, you know, maybe it's letting people know that, you know, again, that's what I think about horror films are, it, to remind us that, you know, death is on your shoulders. Or Henry Winkler said today in an interview I saw him that he said, death is is breathing on my knees instead of my shoulders or on my neck which is what we're used to hearing so with death being on your shoulders you need to live your life to the fullest that's basically what we're trying to say or live for the things that are what you're supposed to live for because i think that's what the film is about and that's what i think horror films are this getting to be the spooky seasons so 
it's it'd be good film to discuss maybe we'll release it during the spooky seasons i'm thinking about in october hopefully if we're still doing this is to have a horror film a day maybe wouldn't that be great in october let me know in the comments you guys have a great day if you like this video give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell who's your daddy